and fight for GTC. Please like, comment down, subscribe after watching. Hi guys, welcome back to Axel and Fight for GTV. For our home activity, it's about interior angles of a regular polygon. Let's remember these formulas. To find sum of interior angles, let's use n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees. Now, when we're asked to find the measurement of each interior angle, we must use this as well. n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees divided by n. Now, n is number of angles. I have prepared some examples of a regular polygon. Now, when we say regular, a polygon is regular when its all sides are equal and all its interior angles are equal. Triangle, 1, 2, 3. It has 3 angles. Square, 1, 2, 3, 4. Square has 4 angles. Pentagon, it has 5 angles. Hexagon. It has six angles. Heptagon has seven angles. Octagon has eight angles. Nonagon has nine angles. And Decagon has ten angles. Now, let's just be familiar with the angles of eleven and more. I have prepared some examples to find sum and measurement of interior angles. So let's have example number one. A tile shaped like a regular pentagon. What is the measure of each interior angle of the tile? Again, a tile is shaped like a regular pentagon. What is the measure of each interior angle of the tile? We are asked to find the measurement of each interior angle. So pentagon has five angles. Let's use five angles. Measurement of each an interior angle is n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees divided by n. n is 5, so let's replace n with 5. Equals 5 minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees divided by 5. Now, n equals 3 180 degrees divided by 5 so m 180 times multiplied by 3 is 0 8 times 3, 24. 1 times 3, 3, 5. 540 degrees divided by 5. Now, M, measurement of each interior angle, has, this is 500, so 100, and then 8. Our correct answer for measurement of each interior angle is 108 degrees. So the measurement of the interior angles for each interior angles is equal to 108 degrees. For the sum, you have 540 degrees, okay? But we are asked to compute for the measurement of each interior angle, so it's equal to 108 degrees. Okay, very good. Example number two. A stop sign is a regular octagon. What is the sum of its interior angles? So you are asked to find the sum of the octagon. Again, a stop sign is a regular octagon. What is the sum of its interior angles? We are asked to find the sum of interior angles. So the formula for sum is n 
some sum equals n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees. degrees. Our n here is 8. So sum equals 8 minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees. Sum, let's subtract 6 multiplied by 180 degrees. 180, 6, 0, 48, 10. Sum equals 1,080 degrees. Okay, since we are asked to find the sum of the measurement of the interior angles, we use the formula sum of the angles is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. And then octagon has 8 angles. You have to substitute it with a formula. So 8 minus 2 is equal to 6 and then multiply it by 180 degrees and you got 1080 degrees. Very good. Next. Number 3. A window is designed with a regular polygon shape. The sum of the interior angles is 1,800 degrees. How many sides does the polygon have? So you are asked, you are given with a total um, measurement of the angle. And then you are asked to find how many sides does a polygon have. You are asked to find the side. So what formula? The what sum. formula? The sum of angles. So we don't have N because mom, mommy said, it's a regular polygon. So, it doesn't, we don't know if it's square, triangle, any of regular polygon. So, but you are given with a total measurement, which is 1,800. Sum equals N minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees. So, N minus 2. Let's replace sum, since our sum is 1,800 degrees, N minus 2, 1,180 degrees, and then 180 degrees. And then let's substitute this 1,800. Not substitute, distribute. Right, distribute. 180 N minus 360 degrees. Let's put here since transpose transpose since it's since it's nine positive or negative since it's negative when we transpose it here it becomes positive so three hundred sixty degrees plus one thousand eight hundred degrees equals one hundred eighty eight. Let's Add it. So, 0, 6, then 21. Let's double check. 1,800, 360, 1, 0, 6, 11, 216. And then equals 180. And let's divide it. Let's divide both by 180. This is cancelled. So, 2160 divided by 180. So this is 1, 180. This is 6. Cancel 1, 11, 3. So 0 and then 2. So 12 equals n or n equals 12. So the regular polygon has 12 angles for so sides. Okay. The regular angles have 12 sides. Okay, there's another way of computing that uh, problem. You do the cancellation. Okay, 100, sundan mo ko. Okay. 1,800 degrees is equal to N minus 2 times 180 degrees. That's our formula when we substitute the sum of the polygon. 1,880 deg 1, degrees is equal to N minus 2 times 180 degrees. Diba? So you can just simply... Divide 180 degrees both sides directly. Show us. You divide mo siya. That's another way of computing, uh, solving the problem. Aside from distribution, you can do cancellation. Mas madalito. 
Okay. So the remaining here is 1,800 one degrees. degrees over 180. Okay. And then is equal to 1 n minus 2. So the other side is n minus 2. Pakisulat. So 1,800 degrees over 180 is equal to n minus 2. This is another way of computing, ha? Okma, okay yung computation mo kanina, pero mahaba, mahaba. So this is the shortcut. 1,800 degrees over 180 is equal to n minus 2. Cancel. Do the cancellation. Cancel 0 first. 10. So, 10, 1,800 degrees over 180 will give you 10 degree, uh, 10 na lang. Cancel degree. So, 10 na lang equals n minus 2. Transpose negative 2 to the other side. It will become positive. It will become positive. Now, you have 10 plus 2 is equal to n. Oh. oh. So, your side, the polygon has side of 12. So, much better yung cancellation Pwede kaysa sa distribution. Kasi mahaba-haba. Oo, mahaba. Mas malaking number. So, either of the solutions is correct. Doon ka na lang mag-focus sa mas madali. Okay? Pero maganda naman yung ginawa mong process. By the way, guys, this is our active learning. So, I introduce a new topic for Kuya Axel. And then, after introducing a new topic, it's his time to do the demo. If naintindihan niya if he truly understand the, the topic. Okay, this is our topic. I don't know if they has uh, they have this in grade 6. Okay. So, advanced topic. Um, the method we use is an active learning. Okay. So, next example. So, dito ko matitest kung naintindihan niya o hindi. So, if he don't, we have to repeat the topic. And then, if he understand kahit konti, we have to proceed a new one. So, next, or let's